tonight. I'd like to thank everybody for being here. Uh, this is a very uh, incredible day in South Carolina. My name is Kelsey Gilmore Futerall. I'm the South Carolina State Director for the Humane Society of the United States. And uh, every year in partnership with the National Sheriff's Association, the HSUS, presents the Humane Law Enforcement Award to officers who have taken an exemplary stand against animal cruelty. This year, I am thrilled to be joined by our own Governor McMaster in presenting this award. I would like to note that Governor McMaster is not just the first recipient in South Carolina of this award, he was the first recipient ever from the Humane Society of the United States to receive this award. We are privileged and proud to work with the brave men and women who dedicate their lives to making our communities safer. To that end, we partner with law enforcement officials across the country on a wide array of investigations, training, and legislation. We are so proud to be joined by Governor McMaster to present Lance Corporal Gore with this award. In March of 2019, she responded to a residence where she found dogs in very poor condition. And based on her training and experience, she knew that this might lead to a deeper investigation. So uh, without divulging further details, I'd like to turn this over to Governor McMaster for a Thank few remarks. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we're glad to glad all of you are here. Hope you get a chance to explore the State House a little before you leave. It's a, it's a beautiful building. I think the most beautiful well, in the world, and I'll point out on this drawing behind us from 1739 is one of King George's agents who was reporting back to the king. And he said, and it's inscripted there, and we have copies of the words, he said that, the, that Carolina, the colony, was the most bountiful and beautiful of all the king's possessions. And he said specifically that St. St. Philip's Church is likely the most magnificent structure in all the colonies. So we have, we have been on the top of the world for a long time. We're living in paradise, <laughs> and, and we're really moving now. The businesses all around the world are fascinated with what they see in South Carolina. One thing that we don't want them to see is animal cruelty. It is a scourge. And we, we must get rid of it. We know. We, these law officers, we, we were speaking in the other room, and every one of, of those here, as well as around the state, will tell you that a, a, a man or woman, it's typically men, that will abuse an animal will also abuse children. That's just one more sign of people going in the wrong direction. But the pain and suffering to the animals themselves, particularly in something as in this, this case, dog fighting, is just beyond your imagination. And we had a case years ago where the question was whether a film, a video of a typical dog fight, if you can imagine such a thing, could be introduced into evidence. It was not a dog fight of the defendant, but a, just a dog fight. And the judge, over the strenuous objection of the defense lawyers, and this was the fourth one, Senator Rankin, all the others had bailed out as the publicity of their defending this man had uh, risen in the papers and in the press. This was his fourth lawyer. And the case had been moved from Charleston to Greenwood. But over the strenuous objection of the lawyers, the judge allowed the video to be introduced. So down went the lights and up came the pictures. And when it was over, the deputy clerk of court left the courtroom with tears in her eyes. And either three or four of the jurors were, were covered in tears and visibly shaken. At that time, the same lawyer got up and asked if he could approach the bench. And the man pleaded guilty. That was, that was the end of that case. <laughs> but my point is, when people know about it, when, when they can believe it, they can't stand it. Right. And, and I can't stand it, and I know you can't stand it, and I know Peggy can't stand it. And so it's, it's time to recognize those that are fighting this to make our state better. And it's, it's going to be done by us, those in this room and, and others who are like-minded. So I, we're delighted, half of the First Lady and myself, we're delighted to be here with you for this very fine occasion and great step forward.
for the state. I, I will say, without the Humane Society of the United States, without them putting on classes and training for officers like myself, I would have never been able to make this case. Because due to them and the classes I've taken with them, they gave me all the knowledge that I needed to not, I wasn't prepared for the situation. We walked into it, but with as much as they had already taught us, I was able to handle the situation like I did it every day. So for that, I am forever grateful for you guys. Did everybody get the photographs you need? <laughs> okay. Well, that concludes this ceremony, and thank you for coming. But keep thinking and keep, keep looking, keep reporting, be active, because we got a real fight on our hands.